Thanksgiving is next week, and I'm going to show you some things that uh, can entertain your family and friends and may possibly turn you into a holiday legend. When I was a kid, we had glass bottles for soda pop, and the coolest thing you could do when your pop was gone was to blow into the bottle and get a sound. That was cool. However, you get kind of bored with just one note, and the only way you could change it was by putting fluid in the bottle, and then it would give you different pitches, but you had to keep adjusting, and that was not efficient. Nowadays, we have all kinds of plastic containers, and they are much easier to use because you can take one bottle and simply squeeze it to get different notes. Now, I found that uh, Pepsi products have the 16.9 fluid ounce size, and that is the best for playing music because you can squeeze it and they snap right back into shape. Now you can drink your, your beverage down to about a little over half, maybe about an inch down from the label, and then blow into it just the same way you would blow into a glass bottle. Now to change your pitches, you're just going to squeeze. The liquid will rise and raise your pitch as well. Now, let's see if you can make a scale. How big is your range, your lowest note to your highest note? Not quite an octave, but uh, you can play tunes in here. You have to be selective about what will fit within your range. And uh, last week was Veterans Day. And an appropriate song for that would have been America. And you think, my country tis, the tis is going to be your lowest note. So that's going to be when you're not squeezing the bottle at all. And you can play the whole melody within the range of this instrument. Now, for the holiday next week, um, you're going to play a baster, and you want to get a new one. Don't use the one that's been in the kitchen drawers, because you're going to have to customize it. You want a baster that's going to have the darker colored plastic, not the clear, brittle stuff, because when you try to cut off an inch off the, the end of the tube, it, well, it'll snap. So what you want to do is safely cut off an inch off the top and then take whoops and then you've got to use sandpaper to smooth the tip so you don't cut your lip and then the second thing you do is you customize by uh, putting tub and tile caulk around where the part where the bulb meets the tube if you don't do that liquid is going to leak out there and when you're playing in front of 50 people and all of a sudden your liquid starts leaking and it runs down your arm and starts dripping off your elbow. It's good comedy, but it's not what you intended. So it's very good to use that tub and tile caulk. You find out yourself, uh, your tonality changes. You go flat the more liquid you lose. Now, uh, this one's customized. It's got a, an opening that is not as large as the pop bottle opening. But still, it's good enough for um, easy playing. <laughs> And uh, a good tune for Thanksgiving would be Simple Gifts. Now, you have to think, uh, what is your lowest note? Tis a gift to be simple, tis a gift to be free, tis, right there. So that's where you're not squeezing is going to be the lowest note.
your choice of liquid um, is not gravy. Gravy has a uh, bad viscosity for baster playing. Um, it's got fat content and maybe a little flour and it will not allow it, the tube to clear so your pitches will be clean and, and pure. Uh, also, you want something more dramatic than clear water. So what I found works really well is uh, either flat cola or strong, dark, cold coffee. And uh, do not use root beer. That's, that's a bad choice. Because even the littlest bit of foam is going to kill whatever sound you're trying to produce. So that's your baster. And uh, filling it is, is messy. I'll tell you that right from the front. You want to have always have towels handy. And if you're doing it in a public situation, you've got to have an area for, for loading that's going to be uh, able to deal with the mess you're going to make. Because you have to... I've started to fill this one. You have to squeeze the tube and then you have to angle it with the <laughs> container of your dark liquid. Let go and then go back and now it's the right. You've got to do that probably four or five times until you're able to get enough liquid to be about an inch from the top of the tube or the top of the bulb. Uh, and this one's got a very small embouchure hole. This you can't play it. It's too small. It has to be customized. But now, if you can play turkey baster, there's no reason why you can't play medicine dropper. It's the same in every aspect. You have to cut off a bit off the end of the tube to make it a good embouchure hole. You have to choose tum and tile cock around the, the bulb, and then uh, you simply squeeze to produce your tones. And I hope, uh, if you have any questions, please contact me, and I, I do hope you have a very fine Thanksgiving.